Hi everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this fall makeup look. It took me probably like 25-30 minutes. It was super quick. And I also have an announcement to make. If you guys are not following me on social media, I am having a pop-up shop in New York City next weekend, the 14th and the 15th, which is a Saturday and a Sunday, and you guys will be able to shop my collection before it goes on sale. I will list the address, the times, and all of that below, but the shop will be open a full day, and I'll be there for about four hours, and we'll have a photo booth, and we'll get to meet and hug, and I just can't wait. So if you guys are in the area, please come by. I would love, love, love to meet you, and you'll be able to see my entire collection again and shop it before it goes on sale. So all of those details are listed below, as well as the winners from the Face Your Fears giveaway. And if you guys want to see how I got this glittery gold eye and dark berry lip makeup look, then please keep watching. To start off this look, I'm grabbing this light matte shade with my Sigma E40 and I'm going to be applying that right into my crease. So what I really wanted to do for today's look was keep the eyes pretty simple and then do like a bright um, like a cranberry lip. And I wanted to wear one of my new outfits from my misguided collection, so I was inspired by the color of it and I really wanted to do lips to match. So next with my finger, I'm just gonna pick up this gold highlight shade and I'm just gonna dab that right onto my lid. Now obviously you could use a brush if you want, but I'm trying to keep it simple today. To add a little bit of pop, I'm going to use the Inglot pigment in number 121. It's like a beautiful gold sparkle color. With my Morphe M170-4, I'm going to dip my brush into some setting powder and then I'm going to apply this color right over the gold on my lid. I'm not going like too high up, just right on the lid and right below the crease. With my E45, I'm picking up a little bit of this darker matte and I'm applying that also in the crease, right above the shimmer shade, just to add a little bit of depth. You can mix in a little bit of the lighter matte as well. I'm just like very lightly applying this, that way I can just shape my eye a little bit. And then with my E25, I'm using the lighter brown matte to just blend above. I'm just gonna bring the matte shade down a little bit further on my lid. Then I'm going in with this M Cosmetics liner. I'm using these WSP Christina Lashes and I'm just going to cut them in half and apply it just on the ends like this one. I like to keep the short end and then I'm going to cut off three large sections and then three smaller sections. So this is what you're left with and we're going to apply that right on the outer edge. And this is my new tattoo. I have to go get it fixed because it's so thin and fine that it started to fade which happens with finger tattoos, but um, I wanted it super, super thin. So this happened to my other tattoo as well, so. With that same gold highlighter, I'm just gonna highlight under my brow. And while we're here, let's highlight the nose, why not? Picking up a little bit of this white highlight shade, I'm going to apply that right in the inner corner. Going back to the gold highlight shade, I'm going to be applying that right under my eye, in the center. With my Morphe E18, I'm picking up the two matte brown shades and I'm going to be applying them on the outer and also the inner 
under eye. I just realized I only had one earring in. With my box of mascara, I'm going to apply a little bit on my lashes. I don't know if I want to do bottom mascara. I think I might just do like a little bit. I wasn't going to, but I don't know. I don't know if I feel complete without some bottom. To bronze up my face, I'm using this Becca bronzer in Capri Coast. I'm going to go back with this gold highlighter and just highlight a little bit on my cheeks. I don't like too, too much, so I'm just like very lightly applying it. So this top is from my new clothing collection. Do you see the color? It's literally amazing. It is a little bandeau top, and then I have matching high-waisted like sweatpants um, that go with it. They're super cute. So I wanted to wear this today, and I wanted to do like a matching lip. So what I have is my Kat Von D Vampira lip liner, and then um, Sad Girl liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna try and like mix the two, and hopefully they'll be close to the color of my shirt. And I actually just had this little choker uh, laying around in my closet, so that ended up being really lucky. I'm going to fill my lips in a little bit as well. And then we're going to go in with the Sad Girl Liquid Lip. It has a little bit of like a shimmer to it. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to go back in with this liner just to make it a little bit more red. So I'm going to apply a little bit of the highlighter on my chest because every time I wear like a sh low shirt like this is something I love to do. For blush, I'm using this one by Tarte. It's from, it's like the Pro Palette one, so I don't know the exact name of it. Um, I'll try and look it up. It's like a matte pink, cranberry-ish color. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see some of you guys at my pop-up shop next weekend. Again, all of the details are listed below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. So I quickly wanted to show you guys the outfit. So this is the bandeau top and the high waist pants. Can't wait to show you guys the rest of the collection. That video will be up soon, so stay tuned.